back to the Football Hub. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the Football Hub. Guys, uh, today um, I've just got announced that Rayhan Tullock from our Lord from West Brom has now returned back to West Brom. Uh, and it is it's, uh, Bradford signed. Uh, this is when he got signed for Bradford signed. Uh, City, Bradford City signed West Brom forward Rayhan Tullock on a season loan deal. The 22 year old first time forward joined the club on September 1st, 2023. Tulloch has recently returned from a four-month spell in Ireland where he scored five goals in 19 appearances. Unfortunately, his loan was cut short and his contract was terminated by mutual consent on Friday the 1st of February 2024 after we signed Callum Kavanagh. Um, guys, I've just got a little bit about him right here. Um, club career. Born in Birmingham, Tulloch joined West Brom Albion at the age, academy at the age of nine. Tullock made his professional debut for West Brom on the 26th of January 2019, coming on the, in the 81st minute for West Hoolan in a nil-nil draw with Brighton and Hove Albion. In the fourth round of the FA Cup, Tullock made his second West Brom appearance in the FA Cup fourth round replay to at home to Brighton on, a, on 6th of February 2019, coming on for Jake Livermore in the 63rd minute of a 31 defeat. On September 11th, 2020, Tullock joined League One side Doncaster Rovers on a season-long deal reuniting with former manager Darren Moore. On his second appearance for Doncaster, he suffered a serious hamstring injury which would see the loan end determined terminate early. On the 8th of August, 2022, Tullock joined Rochdale on a season-long loan. And then on, June, January 20, on the 22nd of January, 2023, Tullock joined League of Ireland Premier side Premier Division side Dundalk on loan. He scored five goals in 19 appearances before returning to West Brom at the end of June. And then Tullock joined Bradford City on a season long loan deal on September the 1st, 2023. And then on the 1st of February, it was just announced today, 2024, Tullock was recalled from his loan at Bradford City before having his contract terminated by mutual consent. And that was uh, basically it. Bas um, yeah, he and uh, I think I've got his stats somewhere. Have I gonna have one of them? Yes, I actually do have his stats um, from the time he played at Bradford because he didn't play a lot for Bradford, did he? Now he didn't play a lot, a lot of games for Bradford. For Bradford City in the twenty three twenty four season so far in the Football League trophy, he had one match, no goals, one assist, no yellow cards, no red cards. In League Two, he had eight appear eight matches, one goal, no assists, um, one yellow card, and no red cards, and that was for this season. In the EFL Cup, he's had one match, no goal, no assists, zero red cards, and zero yellows, and that was all for the 23-24 season, which is happening so far. So, guys, today I have got a signing interview of Tulloch. Looking forward to City Stink. So guys, we're gonna get into that right now. It's Rafa City signing alone until the end of the season. How does it feel to be here? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's a massive club. Um, heard a lot about it before I came. Um, yeah, just ready to get going now. Guys, How bear in mind this was ten months ago. Day. It's quite a hectic period in general in the footballing world. But yeah, you've known about this move for a couple of days now. I guess you were excited to come down. Just got a call and then. Um, Says, oh, they want you to come down. Got my stuff packed, and then I was on the <laughs> on the M6 up here. Yeah. What on the M6? Just to be fair, I'm, I've watched some of the games, and I like the way, like, the team plays and everything. And yeah, it's a again, it's a very big club. The support base is massive, and I just think it's somewhere that I'd want to be, and I'd like, and I'd fit in as well. We're here at yeah. JCT 600, Maserati Bradford. I guess you've never done an interview in a car showroom like this before. No, never. <laughs> never. <laughs> Enjoying the surroundings? Yeah, it's nice. Nice cars everywhere, to be fair. <laughs> Talk to us about you as a player. Then we know you're a forward-thinking, attack-minded player. What, what can the Bradford City supporters come to expect from you? Um, all going well. Goals, assists, creativity. And just excitement. That's what I like to hear. Pitch. Yeah, just that sort of stuff. Come from West Brom, you spent a lot of time there, joined there, I think, when you were nine years old. How has your career sort of developed in the Midlands up to this point in terms of your, your time at West Brom? Yeah, I've been at West Brom since um yeah, since I was like eight, nine. Um 
Wow. Sometimes as you get a little bit, little bit older, you realise that sometimes change is better and it's good to explore different things going forward. So that's yeah. why I'm looking forward to coming here. 100%. Had a few loan spells out as well across the AFL, Rochdale, Doncaster and last season in Ireland as well in what was quite a successful period for you. How have they kind of shaped you as a player and sort of broadened your experiences? I think men's football is the best way for a young player coming through to like um, understand the game a little bit more because it's completely different to youth football. It's more competitive, there's more on the line. It's got more yeah. bite to it and that's what makes it more enjoyable, I would say, because you're playing for something every weekend. Do you think you're the kind of player who's more suited to that kind of environment? If so, what do you think it is about you and about men's football in general that make you too suited? Because I don't like losing and you need to win every weekend. If that's, mm. that's the aim, to win every weekend and that's hopefully what we can do. That sounds good. You trained with your new teammates this morning, met the manager and the staff and the rest of the players at the training ground. How was that and how have you adapted to life so far as Rafferty played? Yeah, it was nice actually. Everyone's really friendly. Um, just yeah, It was just a nice vibe in the changing room and then yeah. on the pitch everyone was laughing and bantering. So yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was nice. Very welcoming. You mentioned off camera the support base, the size of the club and the stature. I guess that was quite an attraction for you and you're the kind of player who will relish by the sounds of it playing in front of a crowd such as that at Belgrade. Yeah, because I think as an attacking player there's no better feeling than when you skip past someone and then you just hear like a ooh from the crowd. It gives you a bit more energy and then just yeah keep, yeah that's it yeah. first game tomorrow away from home but then back at home next weekend against Grimsby live on Sky Sports I guess as a new player coming to a club like this it doesn't get any better than that in, in terms of starting as you mean to go on yeah I just um, that's what I'd like to do just make a statement towards my teammates and the supporters and the gaffer to show everyone yeah, what I'm about and what I can do and what I can bring to this team Well, right guys, so that was signing interview Tullock looking forward to City Stiff. Bear in mind, this was made 10 months ago when he first signed for us back in September. But he did have a lot of good points that he wanted that he, to show up. But yes, he did not play that much games. Unfortunately, I would have loved to see him play more. I think in, what, in League 2 on the stats, he said um, he only got 8 games, didn't he? I, I would love to have seen Ryan Tullock uh, play a lot more in... Um, at Bradford but unfortunately it is what it is but um yeah guys that is basically it isn't it but yeah they've made a lot of good points that he wanted to do at Bradford it's a, obviously it is a big club it's got a big fan base everything um to the lads are always friendly obviously um but yeah guys obviously that is basically it for this video um I don't know what else to say just make sure you just don't forget to obviously like and subscribe for more further football content, and don't forget to smash that bell notification to get reminded of every time I post a new video. And guys, um, the next game will be Bradford City versus AFC Wimbledon at Valley Parade on Saturday, the third of February, twenty twenty-four, at three p.m. here at Valley Parade. So, guys, make sure you get your tickets and get down to Valley Parade on the third of Feb to watch the Bantams take on AFC Wimbledon. But yeah, guys. Also, if you don't, if you do want to follow me on the socials, links are here and down in the description below. But guys, also just a quick note. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, I do post like little clips of these videos onto my TikTok. So if you guys want to go check it over, go and drop it a follow. Obviously. Uh, but yeah, guys. Uh, there is a there is a one issue that I might I might not be able to get to that win building game if I can't. If I can't, I'll do a match reaction. If I can't, but I don't get the chance to record it, I'll do a match reaction. Anyway, if I don't record the game, I'll do a match reaction. End of. But yeah, guys, that, I'm pretty sure that's what, everything for today. I don't think I'm missing anything out, am I? Yeah, that's it, everything for today. Uh, this is the Football Hub, and I shall see you in my next video. See ya. Bye. Take me home to the place.